Ringwood? <laughs> I'm actually from Bombay, India. And I remember when I came to Melbourne, Melbourne people love talking about the weather. And in India, we have zero weather conversation. Because what would that look like? Oh, so hot today. <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday too, so hot. When the newsreader, when the newsreader cuts to the weather guy, he's just like standing outside in the blazing heat. And he's going, oh, so hot. Back to you lucky moles in the cool air-conditioned studio. I've got my eyes on your job. <laughs> the other thing people don't realize when they meet me, they don't realize that I'm actually, I'm actually a racist. <laughs> There's a little racist about that high with quite nice hair, who likes to drink soy chai latte, who lives inside me and likes to come out to play sometimes. <laughs> Just yesterday, I was in Hawthorne where I live and I walked into my local pharmacy and there's the Asian pharmacist and I go to him and I start asking him all these questions. And he stops me. He says, uh, excuse me, I'll get you the pharmacist. I'm just a pharmacy assistant. I grab his hand. I look into his eyes. And I say, oh, what do your parents think? <laughs> <laughs> so that's like positive racism. I realize I'm a positive racist. Uh, and I think there's a real opportunity, you know, with, because racism gets such a bad rap. But there's a real opportunity with this positive racism. <laughs> and I realize it's really hard being like a good positive racist. You've got to work at it. <laughs> because in everything we do, I think the bar is so high now. Like, you can't just be a chef. You've got to be like a master chef. You can't just present. You've got to do a TED talk. And you can't just be an idiot. You have to be the president of America. <laughs> so I think the bar is lifting, even with like racism. So it's no longer good enough to stand in a street corner and go, oh, come back to where you came from. Because it's not 1984, is it? So I imagine living in a world where races are nuanced. <laughs> They're like global citizens. They know geography. So they say things like, they say things like, go back to where you came from, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. So they do capital, state, country. Wouldn't that be brilliant? <laughs> Wouldn't that be brilliant? And my other idea was like, you know how governments are always trying to promote tourism. So I thought this new nuanced racist, they could do that. They could do that for us. They could promote tourism. So this is how they do it. They'd go, go back to where you came from. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh City, previously Saigon. Stunning, charming French architecture. Wide boulevards. Thinking of your next holiday destination? Vietnam. <laughs> You've been such a wonderful audience. I only have one wish for you. For each and every one of you, tonight, at the end of the gig, I want you to go back to where you came from. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.